really dangle marriage over our heads because we're fulfilling our lives up with other important things until the right marriage come along. And so I guess you see that that hasn't worked. So I guess the new scare tactic for women to lower their standards is we're going to get our passports if y'all don't lower y'all standards. Hey, what's going on, good people? In this video, we're going to be talking about a woman. She made a video talking about the passport movement, saying that men are using this as a scare tactic. Get this. Use this as a scare tactic to get modern women to lower their standards. <laughs> so we're definitely going to get into it and break it down. But before we do, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like the video, drop a comment down below. Not gonna waste your time, let's get right into it. I've noticed there's a trend or pattern on many of my posts where a man is going to mention passports. So I guess we're on to the newest scare tactic. I guess shaming us with being alone with cats has faded out. You see, that doesn't work. I guess you realize you guys are dying of loneliness as we speak. So you can't keep projecting your loneliness onto us. So that shame and scare tactic hasn't worked. You can't really dangle marriage over our heads because we're fulfilling our lives up with other important things until the right marriage come along. And so I guess you see that that hasn't worked. So I guess the new scare tactic for women to lower their standards is, we are gonna get our passports if y'all don't lower y'all standards. See, I knew he was a passport, bro. We finally heard his voice. And I'm here to tell you, I am a passport sis. I live abroad. I left the United States. I don't live in the United States. What do I look like hating on a brother who does the same thing? It would be hypocritical for me to, to tell a man he shouldn't go abroad and experience an abundant life because I'm doing that. I'm not mad at men who want to go, go abroad um, and to discover other things and, and maybe better relationship dynamics. But what I don't like is when you use the passport card to shame me. You also try to do this with telling us you're going over to white women until white women start outing many black men for mistreating them. Accusations, false accusations. We're at a paradigm shift, guys. So scare tactics. They finally found a new word for it, but I think I like it. I like it. Men are no longer trying to get anyone to lower anything. They can have it. Men are just going to date other women. They're not going to be bothered with them, period. I'm not going to work for women. I'm not against you bettering yourself. I'm not against you going to where you're celebrated. I understand there's a lot of division right now. I understand that many of you guys are frustrated, but solving the problem is going to re require intellectual conversations and higher level conversations. But you guys throwing these scare tactics and shame tactics out, it's not going to be a very effective strategy. So get your passport, go over there, because you're only going to be able to afford to stay there as long as your tourist visa runs out, because most of you won't even be able to afford to be residents there. Ask me how I know. Stay woke. Oh, why can't guys just showcase their lifestyle overseas? That's what I see these guys doing, and they pretty much just telling other men about the movement and how great it is and their stress-free lifestyle. 60 to 50 years plus women been telling black men that they're not worthy to even be with them now that these men have walked away you want them to be silent about it no it don't work like that we're gonna spread the word to let every black man on this planet know that he has other options and they're better this is not about talking about black women or telling black women what we doing it's about men telling other men what's going on and they don't have to deal with it these men are leaving and the thing about it the whole world know why black men are leaving so don't try to blame us for this so the problem with past
passport bros movement. It seems like it's become a social media movement to shame women. I consider that a different scenario than men who are quality material for relationships, meaning they can go abroad and support a family um, and the extended family abroad because that's what you're going to be doing as a man when you support a woman abroad. You're going to be supporting her family as well many times. And, and then once again, they got the same old talking points, talking about men are going to go over there and give women their money or give it to the family. Like, get out of here. So if you're going with the right attitude abroad and you're not bringing um, evil, hateful, rhetoric against American women. I support anybody going where they're celebrated. But if we're popping up in comments, commentary, saying, bros, where's the passports? Then it's a divisive social media movement. So I can understand, um, because I live abroad, there's a big difference. So, you know, dangling it and bragging about it and using it as a way to demean people and shame people is a little bit different. And so that's who I'm responding to. This hashtag passport bros movement is different than somebody who is genuinely relationship material and are going overseas with good energy. You're going over there because you're ready to be married. You're ready to date. You're ready to learn the language. You're ready to stick it out because it's not easy living in another country, God. Man, see, that's another lie right there. It is easier living in these other countries. Why wouldn't it be? The food is cheaper. Transportation is cheaper. Gas is cheaper. Rent, mortgage is cheaper. The crime is down in these countries. <laughs> and we're not even going to talk about the feel-good energy of these women overseas. So that's a lie. And it's fantasized, it's romanticized. I see nothing but objective women being objected sexually on videos and YouTube to lure men abroad. And there's a whole different life once you land and decide to commit to having a relationship. It's not all shits and giggles and funds and party and just sex. So I understand that there's a big difference. And if you are quality relationship material, I believe you deserve to go where you're celebrated. Men can give up what you think about us going overseas, dating or living our lives. Mind your business, no one asked you. You're speaking false truths and you're looking some type of way. But that's all I got in this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Like the video and definitely let me know in the comments what you think about what he, she and them had to say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.